Hello, and welcome back to Three Decades of Gaming. I don't know why I love like doing that. After dark. <laughs> After dark. I don't know why I love getting really close up to the mic. Maybe just because I like being right in the ear of the viewer. For anyone listening to this that is feeling really creeped out, we do not have any reliability <laughs> for any sort of creepiness <laughs> towards your ear or make you feel uncomfortable. All right. Be warned. So, welcome back to the Pokemon Fire Red. It's been a while for us as, as well. Um, I had to actually look up the last video that we made just to find out what we were doing. And we just ran into our rival. We healed our Pokemon, and now we're traversing on a walkway. And that girl is about to fight you. Whee! I'm second. Now it's serious. Oh, I didn't realize dating could be this much fun insanity. Wait, dating? <laughs> how, how scared would you be at that point in time? You just walk up to like, I'm the second person. It's serious. I'm what? the second <laughs> person. <laughs> just like a lineup of dates. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I didn't know I had to date someone. Oh, man. And actually, in some of the, um, I believe it is black and white, you actually get introduced to a girl that actually you go on a date with. In black and white? Mm hmm Pokemon black and white. It was when you actually are given something and you actually own a mall. Like a little shopping district. It was a very interesting thing. They brought it back, if I remember correctly, <clears throat> and... What game was it? Because uh, there was a few different ones that would give you a, a thing. I don't think they brought it back in... Till, I believe? I believe you get something in Y, X and Y, but I'm not upset sure. I have to re-go through all the games. Yeah, I honestly have no idea about any of the Pokemon games. But, I've said it many times in this series. Because oddly enough, you would get a... Something like they take care of, like in the Hawaiian edition, you would actually get a world, a uh, virtual world. Wait, wait, wait! Hawaiian edition? Yes, Hawaiian edition. Like, is that the actual name of the game, or is there just like a version of Pokemon that's only found in Hawaii or something? Basically, it's based off of Hawaiian type culture with a mixture of um. Ho I wouldn't say Hawaiian na names. Basically, if the Pokemon went to Hawaii and was changed. Like, uh... The Geodude becoming, uh, electric. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I know a rock electric Pokemon. Don't get, go Oh, there's quite a few, actually. Mm. Let's go with... Titan. Well, Ekans is a bug, wooden... Uh-uh. Poison. Snake. Are you sure Ekans isn't bug type? I'm pretty sure he is. Let me look that up. <clears throat> Let's see... Let's go down punch. I forgot Mega Punch is a normal... Oh, that works too. Ekans type. Oh no, he is a poison. You're right. You figured I've been playing this for game for many years. <laughs> Shut the hell up. I thought he was like an insect or a bug type, mm -mm. okay? Because he's a freaking snake. I know what you're thinking of, though. Um, you're thinking of the spider. The spider has a similar name to Ekans. Um, I don't know. Was it a first gen Pokemon? Because if it wasn't, then I have no idea who it is. Um, I believe so, actually. A spider Pokemon? Yeah, it's a spider arachnid Pokemon. Um, there's Nincata. He's instinct, but he isn't poison. Oh no. I'm just trying to think. Are there any spider Pokemon that I... that are from the first gen? I believe there is one. First gen spider Pokemon. Spinarak? Oh. 
Hmm. Can I see a picture of? Yeah, that's Yep, him. that's the one. Oh, okay. I, I don't remember him. He was actually a pretty good Pokemon. He, uh... Like, was he in Pokemon Stadium? Not that I know I don't of. think he was, because I don't remember ever seeing him in the list. Oh, dude, if we actually get another Nintendo 64, we should totally play Pokemon Stadium. I'd be down for that. That game was so awesome back then. Hell, it's still awesome today. I mean, mind you, the game could probably do for an update with, like, the newer generation of Pokemon. Because, oh, yeah. Because the Pokemon Stadium from back then was just the original 150. Well, apparently for the Nintendo Switch, they made a new Pokemon Stadium-based type thing. Yeah, but I will never buy a Switch. Like, there's so many pro. I, I think there's actually... Well, no, I can't say that. I was going to say there's probably more problems with for the Switch than there are for the PS5. <laughs> but I, I can't say. say that. Yeah, I knew. The I mean, Switch was at, le out for at, at least the a PS5 while. is functional. I'll say that. At least the PS5 is functional. The, the Switch, though, like some games are not playable on there. And they shouldn't even be on the console at all. Like Overwatch on Switch. Overwatch is bit pushing it truth be told yeah like overwatch on switch rocket league on switch like those games sh probably shouldn't be on the switch they should just stick with pc or oh, uh, other consoles another one that they put on there was outer worlds really yes i was baffled when i found that out geez you might as well put freaking fallout on the switch if they did that I'm pretty sure the console, the Switch itself, would actually crash. Jesus. Because... That house in the bottom right with the cop outside, don't you need to go in there? Yes, but it's after you talk to Bill. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I think it's after you beat the gym itself. You beat our five trainers. Oh, hey, yeah, thanks uh, for your nugget. I forgot to mention, this was actually a Team Rocket, someone, uh, someone from Team Rocket uh, recruiting. That guy is? Yep. Oh. If you don't join him, he... Downright tells you you need to battle him. If not, he takes your Pokemon. Did it give you the option to say no? Nope. Oh. So he he just outright refused. Pretty much. At least our Pokemon are pretty good levels. Mm, no one said that. <laughs> well. So we have like three of them that are around a decent level. <laughs> that's true. But they're also the most important ones. Oh. Uh... You're fine. Walk it off, Char. You're fine. It doesn't go away in this one. I know. <laughs> it literally goes until your Pokemon dies. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Once we beat him, we can just go back and get rid of it. Zubat. Uh, maybe Tyson? No, it's a f flying base. It knows flying moves. Yeah, I'm just thinking like... Tyson can level up a little bit. Because out of the three best Pokemon that we have, Tyson's level 15. I will. There's some rock Pokemon I'm going to put him against. Oh, okay. Oh, there's yeah, because a... fighting hurts. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because there's uh, rock types not too far away. But I'm going to go heal after this. <laughs> yeah, I would go heal after this, especially to get that poison off of Char. <clears throat> All right. So, what else can you? Oh, don't let this chance. Okay. Um. Yeah. Go heal. Hurry before Char dies. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get there in time. You can make it. You can make it. Someone was doing uh. Basically, after you catch a Pokemon, it was in random mode. If your Pokemon faded, you had to release it. Can you do that in this game? Yes. You can just release your Pokemon? Mm-hmm. Dang. And he was doing it basically once it dies, you have to release and go catch another one. That is... That is one of the roughest things I can imagine. I, I yeah, can no imagine kidding. Especially, that. like, I'm going to keep referencing Emerald because that, that was the one that I actually played and almost got all the way through, but... Like, imagine having your Torchic, leveling it up to, like, level 50, 
and it's a Blaziken now, and it dies, you have to go find another Torchic. And I think that's nearly and, impossible in that game. Yeah, no. Good luck. Yeah, you can't do Unless that. you have an unrandom for summon uh, the encounters. Well, here, here's my question about this challenge. Can you go back to the Pokemon Center to heal your Pokemon? If it's not dead. Yeah. Yeah, like, if it's dead, obviously you would release it, but... Or fainted, at the very least. Well, yeah. If it fainted, then you would have to release it. But I mean, like, if the health is still there and still alive, and you went back to the Pokemon Center and healed it, that's okay? Yes. Okay. I think that would be a decent challenge to do, except we're not going to be playing Pokemon for that long. Like, we're trying to get through this, oh, and... that didn't work. Well... <laughs> Um, well, you tried. It was a fighting type 2, and it was stronger. Oh. Really? Uh-huh. Tyson's level 15. Oh, so is he. Yeah. But Machomp has a stronger attacking ability. Oh, does he? Well, to be fair, his final evolution grows forearms. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. But if it was Geodude, it would have been taken down. Next time on Three Decades of Gaming, we're going to find out what their next Pokemon is. <laughs>